Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. Where today we're going to be looking more at tanks. I know it's been a while and I promised you that I was going to make a follow up video of the last one uh, to show you how uh, I actually make the tank tracks I've made in the uh, prior videos. But it just took a little bit longer because I had uh, real life things to do and this video uh, and the, I, I was trying to do some of the bits it didn't work out um well, I apologize but this uh this video is here now so um without further ado let's get straight on to the video all right so we're gonna start off as basic as basic can be just a little recap so this is a particular track that I'm going to be using for uh, my vehicle and I'll show you how I built up for the tank and I'll show you how I build the actual um mechanism later on but first thing we're gonna start off with the actual two parts it's really simple the two parts to actually build as big a tank truck as you want and it requires this piece here as you can see it's a t-shape with this little uh bit here and an inverted t-shirt with again this bit here the only thing I would say is if you look, so you may think, oh, it's just the same T-shape. It is, but you need to make sure that um, this bit is always on the, the sort of same side. So if I inverted this, um, this little sticky up bit would be on the wrong side. But um, yeah, so you, you can see in it how I've orientated it here, how uh, these sections all go together. You can see if you if you look at it, um, this bit goes down here, travels down here, and then this would connect to this uh, rotor head, which then continues it along, goes up, and you can imagine if there were another one of these were here, you can see that it would, uh, from there, it would go up, up this way, and uh, yeah, so you you have your uh, loop right there, and uh, I can show you again here, so you can see it goes down here, travels down all this way, and then it goes up along and back down and along and back up and that how that's how you make a chain that's a very very simple chain um like i stated in my last video i was doing of uh, a chain of a tank track um video uh this was the design i came up with as my favorite um i have been a couple of people said after i made that video i should replace these uh here with wheels as um it'll add slightly more uh, friction so if, if i added uh, these these small wheels right here instead of the uh well actually i don't know what these are called i think they're called like interior pillars or something cylindrical columns is what they're called apparently interesting anyway so we have uh yeah our columns and we have our blast door blocks now i I would recommend you use something around here so um, you don't have problems with the uh, being able to turn. I'm sure you could use a square if you wanted to, but I found that it got a little bit um, stuck. And uh, something round just has a bit of a better hitbox, so uh, that's why I chose that decision. And these uh, double uh, bear oh, di double rotor, I call it double bearings, but these aren't bearings, they're rotors. Uh, double rotors just so this uh, piece in the middle here can be uh, free floating and uh, yeah it, like I said in the last video uh, it allows it to move more all right uh, that's enough talking about the tracks you've already saw that video and if you haven't uh, go feel free to watch it and I'll uh, talk a bit more in depth in that kind of bit Let's, so we'll move on to the chassis and uh, just to say if if people enjoy this kind of content I do in there uh, Please consider uh, liking the video and maybe subscribing to the channel. It helps me out absolutely immensely. I'm still a, a very small channel and uh, your support really means a lot. It helps me get in the YouTube algorithm and show more people um, what you can do in Space Engineers and allows me to give my love of this game to uh, more and more people. So yeah, thank you very much. Alright, so we're going to start off very simple. So. This bit is kind of free up to you to decide how you uh, build it. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah. 
fade away. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay There we go So that, it's as simple as that You know, it, it doesn't look particularly pretty Because I didn't spend that much time on it But uh, you can spend more time And when you spend more time You might get something a bit more looking like this You know So in this particular design It's the exact same concept Instead this one I... Uh, I'm using the bigger wheels so instead of using these two smaller um, ones and a smaller one I'm using the uh, bigger 5x5 five five wheels with the smaller one doesn't make a difference in the slightest but that's what I did for this particular design and then I used the same smaller wheels on the bottom here and I've got it on a bit of a uh, suspension bogey and I've got a good four of them so uh, it gives a good amount of stability or stability there we go and as you can see, each one can rock freely. And I've got a big long track. Um, I would recommend for your track design, if you're going to do it in uh, creative, it doesn't matter too much because you can just copy and paste it. But if you're going to do it in survival, um, I recommend you have some kind of uh, bed that you'll have to slide on. Um, it's not as easy in uh, survival but it is possible I have uh, done it once uh, I'm not going to do it in this particular video because it is more annoying but um, I'm sure you can work it out it'll be a bit of a challenge for you so for the length you probably want you want it to be the width of your tank uh, plus another width plus a little bit extra so roughly maybe two and a half Two and a half times the length, uh, the length of that as a roof guide, and then I placed. So I placed this here, and I'm going to show you how to do it in creative. But like I say, in survival, you have to work it out a little bit. So we're slightly ahead. So we're going to uh, run down here, uh, just like this. So we'll line it up here, and let's. This seems like a good section to copy. So I'm looking here. So I'm trying to work out the length of uh, this plus a little bit of hangover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it up here, flip it. Just like this. And... Uh, and then I'm just going to plonk it down. I might have missed it, but... Nope, we're good. And as you can see, I was a little bit uh, far, I would say. Which ain't a problem. We can uh, we can get rid of it and uh, have another little go. And as you can see, when you, when you've got to this point, uh, I placed this so you know it's a good height, not too high off the ground, but also not uh, scraping along the floor. I have these positioned just uh, hanging down a little bit, and then we've also got um, our rotors. So this has power, and uh, if I turn the air rotor on, actually turning the uh, wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to minus three. I wonder if this one is also set the wrong way. I've just realized I normally do this the other way slightly. So on a normal build when I do it, I'd actually uh, have the length of track there and it would go around this way, but it doesn't make a difference. Either way works. So then the plan is to, to turn on this, like that. We're going to turn on this one as well. Just like that. And it will naturally try and pick it up a little bit. Or it should. And then I've got, I've got my ship here. It's actually just a converted uh, mining ship with a big bulky stick on it. And the whole plan is just to get under there and 
give it a good push. This is why you need a little bit of extra height, right? A little bit of lag. And as you can see, it's just pushing it along. So what I tend to do is I like to get it in this little crack here. And I like to just give it a good push along. Just give it a good push. It don't mind. Or if it does, you've uh, built a bad track. Because it's uh, going to have to survive a little bit more than this. Perfect. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Because you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away As you fade away So you can see we've got a nice, uh, nice line down here Runs all the way along here. Uh, not quite happy with that little bump. Other than that, we're we're pretty good there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it. Well, let's see what what we got. What we got hanging. So we're gonna end ending in uh, this side one. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna detach it from right here, just like that. And I'm going to, uh, you can see how much I've got left. Not too much, but just a little bit. Delete this here. And, uh, okay. Alright. So, it looks like... Looks like I could probably get rid of up to here as well. Now this is a bit of a game right here. Where you just have to make it all fit. And there we go. You may be thinking, hey, Quantum, it's really loose still. Don't worry. That's why we had pistons. So, we now have our track connected on both sides. The next port of cool is to uh, get some locks like this. Get a button. get one of these uh, get a connector and a button just like this uh, I like to make sure my pistons are grouped uh, just like that and then what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the groups go to the pistons and we're gonna just do toggle block on and off so we're gonna toggle it off then we're going to press reverse. And then what we're going to do is now, when we press this button, the tension both sides, there we go. And we want them to tension it, not not too tight, but just sort of point where you can sort of, particularly on this one where you can see, uh, down to stick up just a little bit, a little bit soft in the middle. Um, and then my favourite thing to do is just to place some blocks along here. And you can sort of see, uh, I tend to put it close enough to an actual, uh, close enough to an actual block where it'll actually, uh, make a difference. So, what have we got in here? We've got six. That seems alright. Six. Okay, is it six off here? Hmm. All right, so what we're going to do is we're now going to get some uh, merge blocks. So we're going to look for these uh, small merge blocks here. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach one to there, one to there. And we're going to attach one to there and one to there. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reverse this one. There we go, like that. Perfect. And looks like this one already connected. Which is great. And then we can delete this block here. And delete this uh, head right there. Delete that. Delete that. And then we can fill the, all this in like this. Fill this in like this. We can delete these two blocks. And uh, what I tend to like to do is just... Just surround this uh, roach just a little bit more. Just like this. And delete these two. Delete that. We can delete that. And hey presto, we have an entire tank track produced. Not very difficult though, is it? Um, in that last stage, just before we get too far, is uh, oh, just before you decide to build a tank or whatever. Um, I like to just get this like this. Um, I'm going to get a little rotor here. Delete the rotor head. I'll get a block. Another block. And then I will get a rotor part. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go to here. Make sure... What's, which way is this spinning? Wrong way. Spinning forward. And we'll attach to it like that. And hey presto. This basically means uh, this track is now attached to this grid. And if you uh, delete it. If I was to... Uh, oh, I, you know I can copy it. If I was to copy it. You can see it um, spawns in with the actual track built in. Which is nice and then what you can do is just delete it before you're ready to use it let's just do a nice little uh nice little check just to make sure everything works how it's supposed to all the suspension is uh suspensioning it'll be all fine might do a little time lapse of this it's nice and slow but Maybe I should have tensioned it a little bit more. But it looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, what if I uh, increase it to F4? There we go. And there you have it. That's how I build uh, my tank tracks. Um, not too complicated, really. Um, I'm still trying to work out the best suspension type. I'm, I'm still not 100% happy with this. I'm thinking what I might need to do is get these, but I might have to get some... Um, Custom suspension things where it's on an arm. So that might be an upcoming, uh, probably an upcoming shorts, I would say. Um, I just realized I still have all this on here. I don't particularly need. There we go. And yeah, you, I probably could tension it a little bit more. It seems still quite loose. But, uh,. Nah, it doesn't look too bad. One of the other things I was thinking about for a uh, tank truck design would be to have these on uh, the outside as well. So as well as having it as a guide, um, you'd have notches in a custom type wheel. So you can't have any slip. 
So I might have to look into that as well. A bit like an actual gear. That's one thing the space engineers need, I think, is actually some uh, proper gears. But yeah, I think this uh, video is long enough. Um, so I'm going to end today's video. So uh, yeah, that's how I build tank tracks. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you didn't found anything particularly useful in this video, uh, consider maybe hitting the like button and uh, subscribing to the channel if you're new as always. My name has been Quantum Chief and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!